So let's say someone found this uh, cache of <clears throat> silvers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. There'd probably be some proof in there, no, of these uh, night raids. Maybe. If that was brought to the right people, perhaps it would uh, make the Capitano unemployed. Cast doubt on his Maybe leadership. Maybe, I... I would hope so. See what you can find out about this then. If we can find it, we might be able to uh, replace him with someone more <laughs> better for the town. Suitable? Mm. <laughs> that's all Kovas wants. And that's what I do know. He just wants to battle to this town and most people don't even realize it. Some people think he's pampered. I mean, seeing him with those Ashma elves, it, it's surprising, but he's just trying to do good by everything. By everyone. Mm, I hope so. Who would go around basically unsupervised? To buy bread, to get drinks, to make sure people are okay, to even help the farmer out. I would like to agree with you, but it all seems a little uh, too good, don't you think? <laughs> that I will agree with. Sometimes you never know, but Kovas has been pretty different. I mean, sure, the man has given me plenty of silver. That's not why I believe in him. I really do find him to be a good man. You honestly believe he is a good man? I hope he is. I put a lot of trust in him. Because I hope that one day... This town will be better. You think he would consider... Uh, <laughs> working alongside someone like me? Or do you think his hands would feel too dirty? Mm. Who knows? The way that I see it, he sees his brother doing dirty things behind his back. I don't think there's any harm in asking. Mm. But that's just me trying to be optimistic about the whole thing. <laughs> a light Hoping in a dark room things. you are. <laughs> Thank you. Now. Now, the guard thing, that is not my only thing for you. Oh, okay. I have so much things just for you. There is also a man came in earlier today. It seems that a group of merchants have stopped to rest in Bolerno. Always gets me all jumbled up saying that. I straight up forget the name half the time. Of... But yes, go ahead. <laughs> It seems that this cart full of... It looks like normal things, but like the merchants claim they're carrying something. There's someone that has said to me that even if they're saying, oh, we're not whole things, not things, they have silvers. Like, I've got the tip that it's several tens of silvers worth of some sort of product some sort of item i don't know why they're telling me this i th think they think i know some good people hmm? <laughs> <laughs> but <sighs> i feel like they have something hidden and that is the rumor that i like because why would you start telling people we only have normal items, you know? Yeah, it does seem very suspicious, yes. Exactly. They want to hide something under the guard's nose. That is what they want to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but... It might be a lucky find for someone if they want to get their hands on that cart. Interesting. 
And probably the easiest time will be in the morning. While they're still resting. Hmm. You think it's as simple as walk in, take the cart and leave? <sighs> Nothing's that simple. But you never know. You might find something interesting. Hmm. Well, that is very kind of you. If I ever meet someone with that sort of disposition, I could let them know about it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Is now, that all? That is everything. <laughs> I would like to let you know, though. I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Strange things are stirring. Creatures in the dark, all that scary, scary stories. And I don't know what will happen in two days. But no, it was an absolute honor to work with you. And the privilege and to get to, to meet my mysterious man who I give all of this information to. <clears throat> Chat, roll a d20. That is, uh, <clears throat> almost like you're uh, saying your last rites. You're starting to worry me, Miss Basil. I don't know what life will bring. So I've been living my days like it's my last. He's not going to let anything happen to you. I have heard that many of times, but... Again... Scary things in the night. You never know. You seem awfully calm, all things considered. <laughs> what can I say? Maybe I've accepted what is to come. Or maybe I'm trying to stay calm for someone who I love. There's something inside me that wants to scream and shout and... Tantrum, almost. But... Hmm. I can't do that. Nor can I. <laughs> They're looking for a way to beat her before that happens. There are people looking after you. You... You know? I know a lot of things. She is not the only thing that walks in the shadows, Miss Bezo. I didn't, I didn't think that so many, so many people know. I, I don't understand how so many people know and understand what's going on. It's, I am a special case. It's terrifying. You can't blame me for knowing things. How? <clears throat> I, I can't blame you for knowing things, no, but when I get walked up, um, by the tavern keep saying that he knows things. I, I. Some people don't know when they're shot. Some of the mouths. Imperials have seen something. Yeah. A group of individuals who I have never properly met. I had the privilege of having more than a few word conversation. Know so much more than I thought. It's a group that I can't even fathom. People I just recently met know. Go what on. is... I don't understand what is going on. I... This group of people... And if so many people 
They think they can help you. If that's what Soma says. They say Soma says that they can. They're trying. But I haven't heard it from any of their mouths. The only one I have is Miss Party. Yours and Soma's. I, uh... These people don't know that I know. So... I see. Is that what this was about? Something close to it. Extra? A test? I don't know. I don't understand it. I wasn't in this meeting that they had. I didn't feel like I should be there. I sat outside though and I waited. I waited. I waited. I didn't know when everyone was coming through and then Miss Torty just stopped talking to me for a while. And everyone just walked away and I didn't know anything. And... They're leaving him alone again. A man once said to me, today even, that because of his past, because of what Soma has done, people will not forgive him, and he gets left alone so much. And I will never let him be alone, even if it costs me my life. He is an experience that my heart does not want to end. They're doing their best. They're coming up with something to try and help. But they... I just want to help too. I feel like I'm being shut out and instead of informing me at the last minute it's these secret meetings that they have to have with Soma up here for him to tell me I just I want to help and I'm tired of just being a damsel in distress <laughs> Miss Basil you and I have worked together for a while now. You are cunning. You are smart. You see things that a lot of other people don't even see. But you are not a damsel in distress. Keep your head up. These people care about you. People want to protect you, even if you haven't met them. Summer will probably do very stupid things before anything happens to you. He doesn't want anything bad to happen. I know. He has told me as such, and I will probably do stupid things with him, which includes if he does whatever I think he's doing, I'm going to be there. Well. He will no longer be alone. That is my promise to him. I like your heart. You will... Have a good one. I try. It's what, what, 50, 60 years of walking does to a person? Well, for what is worth, being alone is not to fun. You. 
Thank you. And if I you hope need nothing happens to me too. If you need any work done in the shadows, you know where to find me. You're already helping me with one of the big ones. And for that, I thank you. Lieutenant Knox, remember that name. Understood. Because I will never forget it. And what that man has done to me. A pleasure, as always, Miss Basil. This is your resident ghost speaking. Fucking PA system. For your ears only. Hello. <laughs> uh, the Lord shall be back with you shortly. Understood. He is charging his thing so that he is able to help you. Understood. <clears throat> Thank you, PA system. <laughs> this is your PA si <laughs> This is your inner voice. Hello. <laughs> So what does that mean? Well, there's more if you want to hear it. Okay, here, come on then. My brain is in scatterbrain mode. Uh, kind of all blunderbuss. So like... I think this is guys. Bullshit. I, I was, I, I was, I was kind of considering though. Would we recognize you in that? Now you're Stand speaking my fucking language. There we go. That pipe weed is not necessarily remotely as addictive as the other item you were just presented with. Pipe weed is sold far and wide all over the world. Present definitely even in Fiasia. <clears throat> I'll be right back, chat. Gotta quickly run to the bathroom. <sighs> Fenris is every dwarf. Fenris being a dwarf just feels so right.
Man, we need to save Basil now. <laughs> God damn it. He was that- he was this close to taking his hood off. This fucking close. So <laughs> the one they left to do it. I don't think he's gonna do it. I think it was, it was enough that he was like, I know, <laughs> I know, motherfucker. <laughs> On the docks, my brother under Banier. <laughs> well, I don't like a lot of interference. Um, thank you. For no, they didn't that. like That's me being terrible. a jackass to them. My gosh. Hey there. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> I have to say the word. I'll build you. I'll build you that bar. I was thinking about it. You could lower it from the. What's up, Ladio? Yeah. I just said I had to thank you for your footwork. You taught me, Sharik. Oh, Help teaching me. footwork. There's something to walk out to. She um, was teaching me hand to hand. Oh, that's clever. It's very good. She was glad my footwork was not sloppy. So that's a compliment. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. Yes, that is a compliment from her, yeah. Have you met, um... um This is Amon Sigma. I have not meant. Shriek, I'm the blacksmith's apprentice. Um, <clears throat> nice to meet you. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. If uh, you're, you're smithy. <laughs> no, it's um, a bit of a gather point. People like to hang around. Uh, Master and, Amon uh, is a student of the Ozium. A very learned young man, so please treat him <clears throat> kindly. Of course. I'm one of the kindest people you ever meet. He has helped me so by much, so. Well, uh, it is nice to meet you, and uh, thank you for sharing the roof of your forge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, won't be here long. I just uh, came to speak with Miss Ladia. Um, of course, yeah. No, no need to worry about that. Look, oh, Shriek, that person wants to get their patchy shop, and yeah, I've been able to tell you haven't been no. back. I, I know it might not be the case, but I feel as though I might be intruding, so. Um. Perhaps we can talk later more. You can get it done in about uh, 10 minutes, and it'll be 15 copper. If you ever find me in the street, I don't look like I'm doing anything. I have to talk to get my watch. Practice. Yeah, come here. I'm in town to pick something up for the major, so I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, um, can you give me a sec? I need to go kid all late. I cannot see. Perhaps I need a bit of... No I, um... Thank you for your reassurance. It yeah. means more than you know, even if I might seem so ungrateful. That was in your face. I think it may just take me some time to sit with it and. 
<clears throat> understand your words. This is a grindstone. No, you're not ungrateful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There are two ways you can rotate it. One of them's with the Let's handle, and the other one's with this foot pedal here. In fact, your heart is so foot pedal is easier if you're one person. Mm -hmm. I won't keep you. Oh, well, you say that I had a brain fart? I wish you a two ways you can rotate it. There's the handle, and there's a foot Don't pedal. All you have to do is hold the blade at a 45 degree angle from the stone. Run it backwards and forwards like this. Alright. It was nice to meet you. Howdy. Uh, Mr. Uh, Eric. And, uh. I don't. That is Sif. The rest? Just uh, Sif. 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 Ah. Just like that. And. Howdy. And then you get a flip and do the other side. The rest of you. <laughs> I should. Clear it's just like that? Just like that. Tomorrow, Miss Nadia. Tomorrow. Yeah. The main thing is keeping the angle. Of course. You can't go too steep, otherwise it'll be too sharp and it will chip easy. But too narrow and it will be uh, blunt and it won't cut things. So 45 degrees. It's about 45. You know what degrees are, yeah? Uh... Kinda. So, see how this corner is sharp like that? Yeah. Imagine you're doing that, okay? But then half of that. 45. Okay? Got it. Alright. Then you have a sharpened blade. You can do that with axes, daggers. To make sure that I'm not drinking an entire vial of painkillers and it's supposed to take all in one go. Are you alright? Appreciate it. So do you have any, like, daggers I can practice on? <laughs> None that I'd be comfortable giving to you to practice on, no. Okay. I don't I'm think putting I a that wood right. stick. Mm hmm. Well. What did you say you wanted to practice on? Daggers? <laughs> Sif? One more time. Beggars? I... Beggars? <laughs> like poor people? Daggers! As in... Uh, uh, these things. That thing. Daggers. Oh, daggers. You have to use a hard R. Oh, shit. Dagger with the hard R. Yeah. Oh no. Hello, Mr. Hey, you too. For cancellation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with a critical one. How does he always on NPC? <laughs> <laughs> Play a uh, privilege. Oh. Play. Oh, he's gone. Oh no. <laughs> you threw it the floor. You killed him. What the fuck? Oh, he's here already. What the fuck? I hold my hands in this thing. Does this charge them? Turn Rolling. That, turn that on. And then grabby, grabby. 19. And then stick. Oh shit. Oh my god, it is charging. <laughs> what the fuck? He probably will be unbusy very soon. That's amazing. He's being eaten by a box. That shouldn't happen. That's so stupid. Oh, I'm gonna ruin my controllers. <laughs> my controllers have a thing that I plug into them, and then when I charge them, I take them off and just rest them on it. But it means I can't plug in, like, an actual cable. And I was curious if I if I just picked up and held the thing that I rest them on, if it would charge <laughs> them. 
Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I have the exact same sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Something you need to. This is your friendly neighborhood PA system letting you know that the world is in his way. Oh. <laughs> Kyla heard to the principal's the office. The next train will be a. The Myers will clear pseudo. Miss Basil? It's alright. I, sus I suspect he will be busy soon. Okay. There was something I wish to speak to him about, but How about you? There's well, no rush. I don't think the Capitan is coming down from oh. the castle so quite alright. <laughs> yeah. I love the way you strung those together as if one was dependent on the other. Well, I may or may not have wasted a significant amount of guards' time and he said the Capitano will hear about it. Oh, uh, you're fucked. Should we get the bow and breaky potion like now or I'd like to see them come find me out in the woods. You're going to evade them. <clears throat> to be fair, what are, the, what are they going to do? Large tracks. That's fair. But if they find me, they have a two-stage boss fight. <laughs> that is <laughs> true. Ah, uh, yes. I am uh, acquainted. Regardless, yes. I doubt anything will come from it. I will come find Hello, you Mr. tomorrow. Tazim. Sounds good. Hello. Seems you will be busy. Tazim. 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 Taught me good how to sharpen him. things. Good to see you. I taught him angles. <sighs> the 90s and the 45. <laughs> Take this. Take this. I've taken it. I've got it. Bring it over there. I'm holding it. How much iron is in a dagger? Fucking... Two iron ingots. Depends on the dagger itself, but usually... There you go. You set it up. You want this? I don't have a use for it. I'll take it. Of course you do. Everyone has a use for it. Well, you could you take lose the your iron weapon. And put it towards the two-handed axe. It's funny you should say that. Why? <clears throat> I'll give you something, but you have to promise to give myself and Shariq five minutes before you come back. Okay. Actually. This works. Something I'd like to speak to you about. I don't have a boot anymore. That's right. Oops. <clears throat> Something that had been worked on courtesy of um, myself and Miss Ellen. She had felt that you were quite kind and had supplied me with some supplies. So for about uh, 19 days, if you'd come with me real fast. I'll be right back, Shuri. Get the forge lit. We have some metal to shape. I actually have been keeping the forge lit all day. No, we're about to use steel. It needs to be hotter. Oh? oh get stoking. I, I don't know. But get stoking. Here. Put some charcoal in, too. Right. Who, me? Yes. Why is that? <laughs> Your shadows. Hmm? They've lessened. Hmm. Hmm. 
This should be harder now. Nope. Steel. Severick. Maybe even more? Steel is comprised of iron and coal coke. It is harder, stronger, and can be sharpened more than iron. Also a lot more expensive. Any chance if do you know if there's a bellow? We don't have bellows. <clears throat> that would be cool though. Um Don't mind Severick suddenly knowing something that he really, really shouldn't know what a bellow is. Can I see if I can crumple you up into a ball? Sure. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Hello. Give me. Patrick, we're here to break the record again. Hope you're ready to swim. Hope you're ready to run to punk. Oh, can I help make it the fire and then go for a swim? Well, we're making. If you need to go for a swim, you probably should. I don't think you'll be needed for this. No, this guy. Alright. Is it alright if I watch when you're, uh, making nothing? I don't think so. I'm not saying so, anything, I should be watching. Alright. It's, uh... Sharik! Hmm? Did you need anything of me? I think we're okay for now. You let me know how that suits you when you get a chance to try it. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Hopefully I will soon. Woo! I have no doubt. Wait a second. Wait a second. That thing's as big as me. <laughs> what? Oh, Holy shit! <laughs> Look at that! Is this what you're Whoa, fighting with me tomorrow? That's oh, this oh we've uh, made the fire yeah, hotter. Sip, is this what you're using in the arena? Since we're working with steel. We've this is cranked it up more than we good. normally do. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, uh, this just got fun. <laughs> oh, so, nice. uh, the shields stand no more chance. Now you needed some I shoes. Give you the I can practice uh, sharpening it. Give it some practice. Just let me know how it holds up. And remember, if you need sharpening, oh, no. we'll take care of that for free. If you need charcoal, let me know. I will. I will. Alright, where did Tyrion Right. Go? Get it heating up. Mm hmm. Flip it over a few times. We want the heat to be I don't be think you have to worry evenly. about Sif getting practice. They'll have plenty of practice in the arena tomorrow. Oh. What the fuck? God, God damn it, you me! God damn it! God damn it! So angry! That's this glass all over the floor of my no, forge! No, 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 Oh, that was so smooth on my screen. <laughs> anyway, clean that fucking glass up. Trunk here. Yeah, here's the broom. Yeah. I got some of my foot. Thanks. No, no, no. You spawn a broom prop and you get to work. There isn't a broom prop. There's there a is. Rake. That's what we got. No, there, there is. is now? What are you right. talking about? Okay. You get to work. For this reason, oh, exactly. Get to work. Get to work. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need tease me for using a proof as a spoon. This is outrageous. So you can come back, but give us some time. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is gonna take a lot of drink. brain power. It includes you too, Severick. I will Don't say, I hope I'm hoping you won't just say that. You could have thrown me and so we'll be there. having a duo match. Sure. You can come back and talk to me about it. Five minutes. You call with me. How long is five minutes? <laughs> One minute, five times. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you managed to make them forget that they're going to throw me into the ocean. Oh, don't forget to throw Severick into the ocean. <laughs> Alright, move along now. Okay. I can step away. Thank you, Sir Broker. Alright then, my boy. Now that the metal is sufficiently hot, grab the calipers and bring it over here. Keep going, Severick. Yeah, this takes me back. I've learned a lot about blacksmiths in the past couple of days. Now, this is the most important part. <clears throat> When the metal is still hot, as you know, we want to flatten the edges and then bring them into points on either side. Mm. It's a lot easier with this hammer. Dwarven hammers are a lot fatter and heavier, and they swing with more force. That is why <clears throat> Morgrim used it the way he did. <clears throat> Think nothing of it. Start pattering down the sides. Each side, each swing. One at a time. Good. Work around the edges. Slowly but surely. Make sure you don't hit too far in the center. You don't want to flatten the blade. Just the edges. You know, I <clears throat> thought about maybe being drunk when I did this, just for old time's sake, but I think this is too important. I think we want to do it right this time. <laughs> there you are. If you want it done right, you might need some help. The center, if you would, brother. We will work the sides. Far be it for me to deny the help of a master dwarf. Every little bit, every bit of sweat that rolls down your back, that drips into your eye. Every bit of soot you inhale, the craft comes to you, ever so slowly. Eventually you feel the blade, you can measure it by eye, and before you know it, it'll be ready to be fit, ready to be set, and ready to be tested, not to the heat of a forge. But in the heat of battle, and you will find that your blades become your pride, even if you are not a master. I'm round the last of the sides, just like that. Good. Good. Quickly. While it is warm, bring it back to the fire. I know, uh, <clears throat> you're not really one for naming swords, but I figured it's appropriate. Have you decided on one, then? I had a like, couple ideas. I was thinking either Zero. Imp Spain 
or Griffin's Claw. <laughs> I like Griffin's Claw. Griffin's Claw it is. Because one day, that may not be the conflict anymore. Mm. That may recede and then far be it from a man to have a sword that has no meaning. Rather than name it after your enemies, or what you wish to be to them, name it after what you are. And you very much would be the claw of the griffin, without a doubt. <laughs> Quickly, before it gets too soft, bring it back. <sighs> On its backside. On its backside. No, 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 no. Flip it over. There you are. Good. Now. The sword does not make the man. The man makes the sword. Sure, the words have never been spoken. Now we hammer out the sides that we left behind. The ones that are ready to join the rest of the edges. Well, he hammers out the center and gives us more material. We take the blade as it widens and we make it into what it was meant to be. A blade. <clears throat> a sword of steel. That is no longer just mineral. No longer just metals. But it is a purpose. A mission statement all on its own. Something that will last you. If you take care of it, aid past my life and well into yours. <clears throat> Every hammer is a promise, my son. Every strike is an oath. So you swearing to maintain this blade as long as it has a purpose. To keep it functioning as long as it has need of you. As much of you as it. Good. A legacy. Now the tops. Quickly, before it gets too cold. What do you mean? One after the other. Strength. System working. A purpose. Something that you will never forget. Something that will never escape you. So when the day comes and you hold this blade, you remember where it was made, and why it was made, and what it means to you. Good. Now, calipers, one last time. Put it in, so it may be heated. We wanted red hot, not white hot. Right. Malleable, but not melting. Y'all working hard this evening. Do you mind? Yes, we are. Very well. Let's see if we're heating up here. Could you bring me my basket? I left it on. <laughs> we're going to hijack your house first. Steal. It's on. It's on. Go ahead. Steal, eh? Might as well tell you. This blade. Do you remember the old piece of shit that we made with Morgrim? That he made with Morgrim when he was drunk. His first sword. <laughs> In the middle of the night, when I broke off from the camp for a bit, I went over to Stowling, found it empty. And it was right where those bandits left it. Sitting there, covered in dirt, rust. We agreed to melt it down. <laughs> we used it as an ingredient for steel. To make his new Westock. And we are finally almost done. Can Faye hmm. see what's happening? Do I see what's happening? Rolling. I'll roll for you both. <clears throat> 32? Question mark? No. For the 13 and the 15? Yes. Faye, Mary, Erndell. 
You both see it plain as day. <laughs> Middle sides now. Flatten it down. Almost done. Few more strikes. Now the part that goes into the handle, flatten it. Down by the base. Good. Good to see help is easy to find. <laughs> Suppose you could say that. And stop. Do you want to go inside and talk Good. real quick while they're hammering? I know. Sure. Quick. The handle grip in the pommel. Bring it here. To seem we're gonna uh me and me and Vez are gonna talk just for a moment inside your house. My house is your house. To you both. Thank you. The calipers. It's <laughs> alright, he trashes my house, I'm gonna trash his woman. Uh, right, hold this right here. Yeah. You heard me, bitch. Alright, right here. Now the handle. Flatten it, good. One, two, three, done. Now. The hand on the pommel. Bring it over. Good. <clears throat> I'll hold the blade. Now, take the pommel. And the hand guard. Fit it right after the cross guard. And use the hammer to gently tap it into place. Good. Either sides, gently. They always do, trust me. Good. Excellent. Now the handguard. Twist it on, and a couple of strikes from the bottom. Now the pommel, the one that was carved by Mr. Aldo. <laughs> Screw it on to the bottom, ever so gently. He's done a good job. It's because he knew who he was doing it for. Have good. him hold the blade steady, lad. Something I'd like to do for him. Last blow is yours. Hold it steady. You named this the Griffin's Claw, did you not? Hmm. Every sword deserves his name. As he hammers into the blade, you will see along the blade in Dwarven script, written Griffin's Claw, upwards. But something special will happen as the hammer dissipates. When you hold this sword in the light of the moon, the blade will, or script will glow blue. Final gift. It will only glow for you when you hold it in the moonlight. What do you think? I think that you did better than an amateur dwarf. <laughs> I second that motion. Beautifully done, Sharik. It's perfect. It is straight edged, well balanced, cross guard exactly as you wanted. Oh, uh, yeah. And the best part of it all. You well, made it. Actually, might actually stay. It is all yours. 
While I may have flattened the steel, you sharpened it. While I have might have melted the iron, you made it into steel. Or I may have carried the parts, it is you who put them on it. By all rights, the sword is yours. May this sword serve you well in the future. Sadly, this is all I have time for. Thank you. Thank you, old friend. It's always nice to have a crowd, of course. I suppose. I wish I could hear past the ringing in my ears. Well, I'm just gonna say it. Today's a good day. It is. Today is a good day. Here's my legacy. Now why don't you... Go look at that sword in the moonlight. I think I will. See how it feels to swing. Thank you for helping. I did very little. But you're welcome. Have a good night. Good night, Miss Slodio. Thank you for visiting. Miss Slodio, would you like us to walk you home? Make sure you get better, okay? I think I feel through this in the heat of the moment. I'll be right back. There's somebody going in and lock picking doors Take and time. taking things? We wouldn't want you to come. Allow me to extend an invitation. As you hold the blade up into the moonlight, you'll see a script appears in a faint blue glow. Griffin's Claw. This is the greatest gift you could have ever given me. will be rebuilt with this. Thank you. Family will be forged. <laughs> It'll be good to have you by my side again. I'll do you proud. I promise. already have. Nothing like watching a forge master and his apprentice at work. A oh, shriek. It's a really pretty sword. You worked hard on it. I heard it. I was actually a little thing. I was. I asked to see him to see if I could help pay for some of the bits for it. But he said, uh, uh no, he won't accept my money. Impressive. Mm. 
I see. A lot better than your first one. Yeah. Ow. My first one's actually part of this. Really we melted it down to make the steel. Oh. That's steel. Mm hmm. Can do a lot of things with this sword. Well, wow. I'm sure. <sighs> if you ever wanted to test it out. Not tonight, but I will definitely take you up on really? the honor. Offer, not honor. Well, honor too, actually. You want to see something impressive? Always. No, not your sword. Oh, Put that back. Okay. I want this one. Oh, my other sword. Ah! <laughs> yes, the one I was using today. You fucking duplicated my sword. How did you, you do it? You didn't that? see this, did you? No, that <laughs> was over there for me. <clears throat> Warforged magic. I can <laughs> duplicate any piece of metal I touch once. Hey, I have this gold coin. <laughs> Hey, I have this platinum coin. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that? on gold. <clears throat> but seriously, you did a wonderful job. Really good. It's a pleasure seeing you and your father work on something like that. It's a pleasure being a part of it. Everyone's... Everyone said it was hurting their ears. It didn't bug me. It was beautiful to watch it. We got pretty into it, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you definitely got into it. Yeah. It almost looked as if you... What? I don't know if it's on this one. There should be something there. There's something here. Yeah, it's a scabbard. Oh, look. Wait a minute. What's that mean? Son of a bitch. Yeah. What is that? Mind me asking. You know. Still with me. Oh, I know that. I know that way too much. Well, you're carrying them just fine. I hope so. Shriek, mind me asking. The, the names on that. Does that have any? Ooh, does that have anything to do with your necklace? Another time. You, I asked about it that one time. Another time. Oh, all right. I asked that one time. I'm sorry if I don't want to ask anything else about it. Finish what you needed to do. Just meet your standards. Now I have to hold it up and go, my arm is complete again. <laughs> I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, I got it done. That sword Didn't feel shines. as good as I thought it would. No. I feel quite gross, actually. I think a few people are heading to the tavern. You want to come have a drink? Oh, a ton a brief of people one. are heading there. Come on then. Then, do you mind if, um... We repeat the other night? Yeah, sure. Mm. Come on. Let's get fucking drunk. 
Trap man, hello. That's the first two drinks. It'll be fine. That uh, just the taste. Drow was walking around earlier, actually. Kido. Huh. I've made contact. And? Timid thing. Ah. Has no idea about the underdog. <clears throat> Pathetic, but not ah. useless. So timid, but trained. not in the right way. Mm, you'd be surprised. He is definitely a drow. Couldn't even look me in the eyes. I think that's probably the worst bird you could ever cook. Uh, well, I assume you've already co collected that, that, that. That can't be good. Uh, it's been <laughs> shot I don't, I don't by a crossbow. <laughs> No, I'm done with okay. the bolt out with the guards claim it. Okay, got to have to the feather it's gonna have to Okay, no no. No no, no you can eat this, just got to pull the feathers oh, off and uh yeah. That's mean it'll taste yeah. good. Oh it's really, just you've never tried my cooking. Is oh, Does that make you Shush. feel better or something? Hello, I'm a giant what, like and I would like a big <laughs> bit of air. <laughs> I still don't know how you can say the first training went well. You were literally trying to get Bjorning sizes. I would like a Bjorning portion of ale. Oh, Bjorning's training? Okay, that's different. Give me a second. Oh, fuck yeah. Are you standing on the fucking steps too? He thinks I'm a Bjorning. I'm gonna get a Bjorning portion. You are gonna get to Careful, mate. I knew a guy who thought he could take on a Bjorning portion. The guy was comatose for a week. No, they come in beyonding portions. Uh, Dredge taught me about them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. You're about to get an entire but fucking keg, fair, mate. It yeah. did go better because you understand the concept of friendlies. Well, after you beat me up, but it was a concept that you had to understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Practice makes perfect, Dredge. Yeah. <laughs> How much do I it's owe It's just you? fill to the top yeah. of hell. One step at a time. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be 25 copper for a Bjorning portion. My there friend. You are. Go Wait, ahead, say that. that's all uh, Thank you. Does? That's such a good deal. I know, because I usually do it for Dredge. Yeah, but and, you know, you know want them to keep him. It yeah, comes in pints! I'm getting one. <laughs> All right, all right Gerben, I'm all small. Right. You've already had three. <laughs> portion of the Gerben! Also, um... Hmm? <laughs> you didn't say you wanted the Bjorning portion. I just. Oh. No, I have to ask for it anymore. Well, now you know you need to ask for it. Okay. Am I? All right, Bjorning portion <laughs> on the double. Yeah, there it is. Oh, uh, Not even drinking yet. Bought a thing of raw meat from a merchant today. I was hoping you could cook it up for me. <laughs> So I'm cooking raw meat and owl. Okay, uh, yeah, so let's sit down. <laughs> oh, fuck, he didn't owl. even cut it with water. So apparently training has had its ups and downs, yes. Well, I mean, mine's bovine, that one's more, uh... I guess it's, it's had its positives, like... As poultry? Getting him into the correct state, it's had its negatives, he beat the shit out of me. That's a negative? <laughs> Twice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Listen, the second time was because I was trying to get you to the right state, but you were too scared to get into the right state, so here we are. I was in the middle of a fucking ocean. You were again. standing on the water, weren't you? You want to see how good I am at counting? Who the fuck stands on water, Shift? Whatever vision quest this is in one. <laughs> Ready? Excuse me for being scared of seeing things. Yeah. Move this out of the way. That's ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. You can punch me now or later. I'll take either. You get a freebie just for right today. Now I know you like it. I've got a bet for you if you want to take it. 
<laughs> you like my portion. Yeah, sorry, Bjorning. I'm a big, big Bjorning. Let's hear it first before Ooh. I take the bet. <laughs> Very well. Arm wrestle. If I win, I get your bucket. Whoa. If you win, I buy you another bucket. Yes. Yes. Easily. Easiest bet I've made in my life. Easy. Sif, watch over the bucket. <laughs> you don't have to tell oh, me no, twice. I don't see this. <laughs> God damn it, Sif. All right. <laughs> Actually, I have to kneel. Hold up. Yeah. And that's back tribute. Get out of the way so I don't get knocked off the table. Rolling. Right. First roll is for Dredge. I'm roll it. Oh, okay, you got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, go ahead. All right, first roll is for Dredge. And second is for you. Arn. With a 18 for Dredge to a 3 for you. <laughs> this goes about as well as anyone else would have expected. Give me a T. Give me a... A. a, a. 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 Give me a Z. Started. What the fuck are you made out of? Said. Oh, oh my, my god! The fucking table, you big fucking bastard! <laughs> I, I you can do it. It. Why are you whining? <laughs> Have we started? <laughs> Two out of three, damn you! Two out of three. Do you think it'll go better a second time? I think it might I think you owe me a bucket, and then we'll do double or nothing. <laughs> double or nothing right now. Yeah, it's under his nice and juicy. Understood. <laughs> yeah, that's Dredge it. first. Oh, oh, big bastard. <laughs> his hands are the size of my crossbow. Make sure you get your elbow on the table. He could, like, string some string between his fingers and... With Dredge's 9 to arms 12, <gasps> surprisingly, oh when he'll... It's going to look like a close match at first, but then Arn's going to slowly get an upper hand that Dredge didn't know he had in him. Oh shit. Oh, I want that fucking bucket! <laughs> yeah! Holy That's blacksmith God. muscles right there. What? Not bad. Uh, one one will call even. Triple one more match point. Triple or nothing. Triple or nothing. Right. Fuck it. Triple or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Match point. <laughs> You big Arn, <laughs> Arn, with your 12, it's going pretty well at first. Oh no. But Dredge, with a natural 20, you job. actually start. You actually didn't realize you'd started. And then when you do, you slam it straight to the table. That's fine. Oh, we started? <laughs> oh my god. Just break the table, My bucket now. No, it's still my bucket. Grow yoga. Where'd my tanker go? Oh, did it go flying? I put it over there. No, 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 no. I put it over there. I don't want to waste your alcohol. No, my tanker went flying. My tanker went flying. It's fine. I have the bucket. This is going to be an interesting. How about another beautiful ocean? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've already got four buckets. <laughs> You're you. on. I actually don't. I don't have no, the money to buy four buckets. No, it would be brand new with you if it was with you. It'd be brand new. We'd be starting from the beginning if it's with you. Which one is it? I'm teaching him the meaning of Brun talk. They're afraid of buying you a bucket. All right, you fucker. 
<laughs> I ain't afraid of buying him a bucket. <laughs> Rolling. I swore I'd never hurt a woman. I as lied. as Sif as Sif stood, you distinctly <laughs> saw them cause their muscles to ripple. Mm, that's not a good sign. <laughs> rolling mm. for Sif? That's a good sign for me. And rolling for Arn. I can't sit properly right now. Dazzy, Dazzy, Dazzy. <laughs> I'm like three times your age. With Arn's, al with Arn's 11 to Sif's 4, this old dog learns a new trick pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> Yeah! Oh, 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 I'll let you double or nothing. I'll go double or nothing if you want. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Oh. Very well. Oh, God. Rolling for Sith. Come on, Tazim. Oh. I was going to show you a very large Now I know what you've got this time, though. I already have. Sif, did I show you what this? you got? Sif with a 15. Did you? You're not falling for this bullshit again. But with Arn's 18, he's not feeling up that easy. You wouldn't be a woman, would you, Arn? If I weren't able to see him. <laughs> yeah, represent. Let's go. <clears throat> wow. You look so I proud of yourself. <laughs> you 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 Are you fucking kidding me? me? <laughs> Triple or nothing? You're on, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Triple or nothing? Oh, God. Come on. I'm this not going really close to you. This is where my luck ends. <laughs> Calm down, Icarus. <laughs> Arn with a 13, you are. Who knows? Arn with a 13, you are poised and ready to go. <laughs> and Sif, with a 2, your arm catches the tablecloth in an odd position, and you're not ready when he is, and he slams that shit. Alright, I think I'm ready to go. Wait, wait, hold so on. So am I. He's gonna lift up your arms. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the, the, the upside of that shit. Drink alone? Except the upside of that, there's no fucking human leeway possible. I could drink three buckets, so we'll share them. So we still get something. Okay, perfect. God, perfect. perfect. Okay. Hold on, let me collect my buckets. Clifford is going to fucking kill me tomorrow. I feel slightly responsible for asking for a Bjoring size portion now. <laughs> You didn't see that. Okay. It's what a silver, isn't it? I I I don't know. You're paying, not me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had to give you a consolation prize for losing that much to Dredge. Oh, I'm sorry. I lost to the arena champion. I'm sorry. I lost to the guy who's the top <laughs> dog around here. Excuse me. Look. <laughs> Look, losing yeah. to you in the bar was too much. I had to regain some dignity. <laughs> what do you mean? You relined my hit practically for free. <laughs> I'm not complaining. How much is it? How much is it? Uh, maybe if I ever finish this arena business stuff. Turn the pro man to come back. It's four buckets. How much is four buckets? Amazing. Four of the silver. Um, you know,
nice to see you smiling for once. <laughs> That's <clears throat> been a good day. Oh, I want to hear all about it. We never talk much anymore. I figured you we used to talk all the time. <laughs> of course I'm busy, it doesn't mean we can't speak. What, do you forget about me already? Of course not. As if I'd ever forget about you. That's what matters, isn't it? Hmm. I forged my own sword today. A real masterwork, too. You've come so far. I know, right? Morgrim and Arn helped me. I know. I hope to do good things with this sword. Mm. You know I'm glad. Yeah. Both for the sword, and you know, he and I were trapped down there together. But he got out. Hmm. Well, so did you, right? Keep thinking back to uh if only. Go on. I keep thinking back to Ledford, you know. Throughout the day, I have... I don't know. It's like they're... Blending together, you know? I do. Sometimes... The memories are just so vivid, aren't they? I never could forget what I did. Every detail. And I'm all right with that. Because what I learned was that in that little town I found the most valuable thing I could have possibly ever hoped for. I found my better half. <laughs> and in a lot of ways, he was just as stubborn as me. His own swords. It's strange that you consider me better. <clears throat> I always felt like I was living in your shadow a lot of the time. And why is that? I don't know. You always seemed the paragon of what could have been, I guess. You used to say that a lot. Don't be like me. Mm. 
You used to tell me that you were not a good person, and that you never would be, and that I shouldn't try to be like you. I shouldn't admire you, sir. You stressed it all the time. Look at yourself. Look at your reflection. In the water. Look how much you've changed. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I guess it's like I was I'm saying, you know, wrong. sometimes when you wear the mask for long enough, you become it. I guess this isn't much different. Or maybe it's just that you learn from it. I always figured I'd learn from the people around me more. How to fight them better. How to talk to them better. We've always been good at talking. Huh. I think, anyhow. Well, I convinced you, didn't I? Fighting, though. Alright, don't true, start with true. that. Hmm. You've, uh, you've watched me, I've done the footwork. Do you know why I always stressed it? Why I put it above everything else? Go on. It's not just about the swords, Kyla. It's not just about the swords. Everything in life needs a good foundation to stand on. So plain. Buildings, friendships. I learned that from you and from Arn. <laughs> With cats, I learned how you can mark that up. She taught us both a thing or two about ourselves, huh? We found one another when we needed each other most. Yes, now she's gone and it breaks my heart. But she's still right there. I have her at my hip. Mm. <sighs> then show me. You've changed so much. Learned so much. So, what do you say? Show me what you've learned. Right here, right now. You want me to demonstrate my footwork for you? Maybe not when we have company. <clears throat> Another time. But let's see if you can... <laughs> then tell you what. I want you to keep me a promise. 
when you find me. When? When you find me. You better beat me. Oh, I will. And your name goes next to hers. You okay? Are you? Yeah. Just thinking. Figured. Seraveth, the look in his eyes is sharper than it has been. There's a level of determination just the slightest hint of self-assurance. He subconsciously cradles the sword at his hip, almost instinctively, and his posture is less tense than you're used to seeing. His eyes are less downcast, if only slightly. Mm. You're done uh, partying and drinking. Just noticed you were gone. Came to check <clears throat> on you. Hmm. I'm about ready to retire, if... Mm. Mm. Come on, then. <laughs> come on, then. Come on, then. Or do you prefer I say, come with me? You know... Is that you? Hello, Venora. Tree? Oh, hello. Oh, I need to ask you a question. Mm. Um, do you... Oh, sorry, the light's probably it's hard okay. on y'all's eyes. Um, uh, yes, it was quite burning, yes. <laughs> do you still have that redstone? I do, yeah. Do you need it? Okay. Uh, talk to... Ver Talk to Vezrin. I think he might be doing what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't tell you. Um, can we go somewhere? Sh can we go over there a little bit so we can talk? Yeah, sure. Uh, you might want to hear this. It's really neat. I I mean, if you have time. Yeah, come on. Do you have time? Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking neat. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go down here? Is it okay? Uh, no, they don't like you going fucking... down on this one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because technically you have to go through the, the trading <laughs> post <laughs> thing. They don't like it when you go through it. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can so go down to where, this one here. Yeah. Go? This one's fine. Yeah, I was down there just <laughs> chilling out, and then all of a sudden they're like, "You can't be down here. This is a closed dock." And I was like, "Where's the fucking? Where's? The, you should put like a gate or something, or like a rope, you know? You should let us know." <clears throat> oh, anyways, I need to read it to her as well. Let me put this down here. <laughs> okay, so I need to read this to you. <clears throat> Miss Sarah, because I know it's something that you need to hear. Vezner's already heard this part, but it'd be good for you both to hear it because it does have maybe ties to maybe why the Underdark is the way it is. Um, okay, so I asked the question between the, the um, about its correlation with the hive mind and the archways. Okay. And magic in general. If the hive mind was created or if it came through an archway that was open incorrectly. Because I had an assumption that if an archway is open incorrectly, even though it might seem incorrectly, it 
might be correctly for some if they want certain things of evil to come through. So I asked the question. This is what they had to say. Many of the creatures and beings of the current world are byproducts of magic having run rampant in errors past. While magic is the basis of all magics, left unrefined and natural, it is unpredictable and nearly uncontrollable. Those magics usually are associated with the wood itself and or that of nature in totality. However, not everything is affected, in, affected the same way as others, and sometimes the outcomes are far from positive. As magic has been around for as long as anyone can remember, it has had time to settle into the untouched places of the world, where the living dare not tread, where the only passerby are simple life and terrible beasts. Some of these denizens of the dark have changed or mutated with their exposure over time, something that arguably be looked at na as a natural occurrence, as magic itself is natural. However, some aspects of magic, when utilized incorrectly, can be catastrophic. An archway opened incorrectly, utilizing wild magic, when refined or bloodline, should be the catalyst, can make an unfiltered tear into the world, where magic pours in from whatever its mysterious origin is. It is entirely possible archways act as a focal point, and it's not that this unfiltered magic comes from somewhere, but more likely it is now hyper-focused in one area, causing unpredictable change and reactions, usually negative. It is my theory that things such as the hive mind are born of incorrectly used wild magic and the inappropriate use of archways before they were fully understood. This may or may not be true, but however it came to be, the beast below is vast, and its motives are unearthly. Thank you. So, I'm hoping that helps a little bit. I'm waiting for the other note that I left behind to be answered. I will let you know, since that's more directed to you. What you would like to know. It solidifies the fact that this is not from the Underdark, but from far below it. Which means mm. I know nothing about it. Means it was mutated means... over time and who knows how long ago. And I've known that this whole time. I just never put the pieces together. When mm. I was in the Underdark, I saw amalgamations of shroom and beast. Hmm. Unearthly creatures. Too surprised if it still stands. Well, I think in the reason why he's wanting the red gem is we had success with the green gem in the grove. Oh, good. A certain amount of it. Um, actually, the whoops, the ground actually took it. <laughs> the ground and roots took it below, actually, the surface, and is protecting it right now as it grows. So we'll see if it becomes a, a vessel to create a golem eventually. Because, as I heard from the wood, both of you should hear this, whatever is leading the orcs, the wood has told me it is um, definitely a lot larger and far meaner and far stronger than them. And so they're beholding to it in fear. That sounds like a war boss. That can be bad. Yeah. But regardless, if eventually the golem can be made, well, at least if you're ever in the forest, at least have some kind of bigger protection along our side, especially if we're dealing with the rat men eventually coming over the mountain. Mm. It'd be handy, yeah. But there's... But there's still a long ways to go. I can't cast magic, and that's something I'm still trying to research of this maiden of the East was able to do it, and I don't know how. Hmm. Yeah. 
That stuff is beyond but what I wants... do wish you luck. If he talks to me about it, I'll mm. see if I can get but him Vezrin... that. Thing. Okay, he wants to just... He's not wanting to sell anything. He's just wanting for his own research to see if it can help him with what he's dealing with. Mm, sure. <laughs> but if nothing comes of it, he'll just give it back to you and you can just sell it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm going to change hands. <laughs> I'm gonna head to bed, I think. I've only got <clears throat> a few minutes left, probably. Me okay. as well. I'm feeling okay, very sick. Okay, thank you. So. Thanks for that, Faye. Mm. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, regardless, yes. Um, and also, I told Vezrin, just as I told you both, just to make sure, um, I do have one high-tier poison antidote. Only one. That's kept in the alchemy shop. <laughs> I can't sell it. Ellen gave me strict deals. It's to remain in the apothecary unless somebody in town of great importance goes to it until we can make more. It's not to be sold. At least we know where it is in case something happens. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But I Good. will let you know because I told... Oh, um, if you come in contact with Rare Viscera, that's what I need for it. Yeah. Rare viscera. And I love your eyes at night. They look lovely. <laughs> the hole grows deeper and deeper and when will it stop? Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Kinda just feels like you're drowning, you know? Can't get a hold on anything. I've never known how to swim. It's hard to see. You can only see so much in front of me. <sighs> if the bed is too much, you can stay on the couch. There's plenty of room. Our feet won't even touch. <laughs> Alright. 